I love the show and watch daily. I have heard arguments from both sides of whether our Earth is 6,000 years old or billions of years old. And I know you support the old Earth position. My question to you is, how can we conceive that there were millions of years between Adam and Noah, and millions of years between Noah and Abraham, and more millions between Abraham and Moses and King David and Daniel and the Apostle Paul? And now, 2,000 years later, here we are. Please explain. Um, I think you're setting up a premise that's uh, inaccurate. Uh, I, I appreciate the fact that you're, you're trying to grapple with it. And this old earth, new earth, the, the truth is uh, you have to be deaf, dumb, and blind to think that this earth that we live in only has 6,000 years of existence. It just doesn't. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I've got some interest in oil, and you're, you're now drilling in the Jurassic uh, uh, zone uh, 65 million years ago when those dinosaurs were here. They were, they were uh, rotting in the earth and making oil. And uh, there's no question about it. There's no question that there were dinosaurs, and no question that the radiocarbon dating, there were 65 million. There's no question that some of the other things were much older than that, and we have so many geological records. Now, the question is, if you look at a day, day one, day two, day three, what is a day? Well, a day is how long it takes the Earth to revolve on its axis. But what about a solar day? Well, that would be how long it would take the sun to uh, travel around uh, the galaxy we're in. Well, what about a uh, galactic day? That could be how long it takes a galaxy to transverse the universe. And so now you're talking about billions of years. You don't know how long it is. So day one, day two, and day three, uh, it's all accommodated if you look at it that way. But the idea is that you first have Adam, and then you've got a billion years, and then you get Noah or something. That's nonsense. I, I think what we're looking at is that there was a point of time after the Earth was created, after these things were done, after the universe was formed, after the uh, asteroid hit the Earth and wiped out the dinosaurs, after all that, there was a point of time that there's a particular human being that God touched. And that was the human that started the race that we are now part of. And I think prior to that, who knows what was here. Uh, but I, I, we haven't worked all the wrinkles out, but I think to deny the clear record that's there before us makes us look silly. And you got the old earth, new earth. There's no way that all this that you have here took place in 6,000 years. It just couldn't have been done. It couldn't possibly have been done.